President Joe Biden is vowing to stay in the race. I feel like a broken record because this story has led the trends all week long. Biden is back on the campaign tra trail today after holding a rare solo, nearly hour long news conference last night. But despite his performance, more Democrats are calling on Biden to pull out of the presidential race. Is President Joe Biden up to the challenge of running the United States for the next four years? Inquiring minds around the world want to know. In last night's solo news conference, Biden with an answer. The consideration is that I think I'm the most qualified person to run for president. I beat him once and I will beat him again. Two weeks ago, Biden faced off in the first presidential debate against presumed Republican nominee Donald Trump. Biden has been facing political pressure to exit the presidential race ever since due to his poor performance. Thursday's conference has been seen as a potential make or break for his political future, but a gaffe by Biden referring to Vice President Harris as Trump raised even more concerns and eyebrows. Look. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be vice president, but I think she's not qualified to be president. That quote from Biden right there, one of his first answers to a question sent Vice President Trump trending from sharing photos like this using AI, Kamala Harris's face on Trump's, to using memes like this one. I didn't know that. I just, uh, you're telling me now for the first time. Trump playing the clip on Truth Social, saying this is how, quote, Crooked Joe begins his big boy press conference. That news conference was considered high stakes at this crucial moment in Biden's presidency. And for his reelection bid, he used his time to address the elephant in the room. The idea that senators and congressmen are running for office worry about the ticket is not unusual. And I might add, there are at least five presidents running or incumbent presidents who had lower numbers than I have now. But it may not have done the trick for some in his party. But politics is always about the future. Ask yourself that question, are you sure? Because you're not just gambling your own political reputation, you are gambling the future of the United States of America. More lawmakers are calling on Biden to step aside today, including the top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee. All I can do is look at the numbers right now. No president has ever won with a 37% approval rating. Look at the swing states, because this isn't a race that's, that is decided in five or six states. You know, the president, you can look at lots of different polls, but the president isn't really up in any of them. And then you can ask yourself, and again, this is future. This is, we don't know the future. What does the trajectory look like? And imagine that three months from now, we get another performance like there was in the debate right before the election. Do you want to take that risk?